is up. This is going to be your weekly love reading. Um, I am sorry, guys, that your monthly was so late. If you didn't watch that one already, it is a week late because it. Uh, I did it twice, and the first one got deleted off my iPad. So I am starting with you guys for the weekly. Um, you get to be first since yours got messed up last time. All right. So if you haven't watched one of my love readings before, the weeklies are the shorter version, the monthlies are the longer. Um, and there is a separate singles reading as well if this should go in the direction of couples and you are single, make sure you check that one out also. As with every reading that I do, I will answer a yes or no question for you at the end of the reading. So throughout the reading, try to think of a question that you might have for me and I can answer that for you when we get to the end. All right, y'all, here we go. Libra, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Weekly love reading. Oh, wow, I got one from my other deck in there. How about that? That was actually from you guys last reading. All right, here we go. Overall energy for Libra. Two of coins. Recent past, king of cups. Present, Ten of Cups, nice. Immediate future, Seven of Swords, Potential Obstacle, Seven of Cups, Advice, Judgment. All right, y'all. So, for this particular spread right here, all of this energy can be for you, the person you're dealing with, outside influences, all that kind of stuff, except for the overall, the Two of Coins, which is the energy that you yourself are taking on. Um, so two of coins, it's kind of your weighing your options. If you're dating people, you might be dating a couple people and just trying to figure out who's the best option for you. Otherwise, it's just, if you're in a connection already, it is a balanced connection. You know what? I'm going to stick with this deck here for a minute. Let's get another one on that two of coins. The six of coins, more balance, look at that. That is amazing. So this is equal give and take, Taurus energy, by the way. Equal give and take though, guys. Um, if you're in a connection, um, you guys are both on the same page. You're both putting forth the same amount of time, effort, whatever. And I have to show you what's really cool about this particular card. So it's Taurus energy, right? However, it's all about balance, and I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm here. I'm gonna try to hold it up for you. You see this? He's actually holding your sign in his hand. So that's amazing. I think that that's just it's just so cool. Stuff like that. Just I don't know, man. I don't know. I like it. <laughs> all right. So if you're not in an existing connection you are like kind of willing to give your time and effort to a connection and just kind of weighing out your options. All right, recent past King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. This can be you or the other person taking on this energy, but it is grown up kind of love, grown up emotion, somebody who's emotionally available, emotionally stable, loving, compassionate, loyal, devoted, all of that good stuff. If this is another person for you, this could be somebody who's, whose occupation is like some, some type of healing. It can be yours as well. Anyway, present energy. You've got the Ten of Cups, Pisces energy. The Ten of Cups is exactly where you would want to be in a love connection. Happy home, happy family, all the love in the world. It's exactly where you're trying to get to, and you are in that energy. So that's amazing, Libra. Let's get another one on that Ten of Cups. The sun. Oh, my gosh, you guys. What? What? If you have ever watched a tarot reading in your life, you know that the sun is the happiest card in the deck. It's ultimate happiness, ultimate clarity. With the 10 of cups here, being happy home, happy family can also indicate the birth of a child. But holy crap, such happy energy, Libra. Oh my gosh, I have chills. What? All right, let's get another one here, guys. This is this is really amazing. Like, I don't even know why you would need to watch a tarot reading because it looks like your life is phenomenal. Oh my gosh, I can't. I can't with you. The sun and the star, Libra, what? What the heck? This is Aquarius, by the way. Um, this is 
major blessings from the universe. Now, especially if you are a Libra that's trying to get pregnant or trying to get somebody pregnant, the energy is, is definitely there for it. This is universal blessings. It's manifestation, regeneration, rejuvenation, all right? Healing, everything. Everything looks freaking amazing. Amazing. What the heck? Um, <laughs> watch out for signs and synchronicities from the universe, guys, because the universe is definitely blessing you and you are in full on manifestation mode. So whatever it is that you want in a love relationship, if you don't have it yet, get to manifesting, get to setting your intentions. Um, if you are someone that does scripting, do that. If you don't, I highly recommend it along with any other kind of way that you manifest. All right. Um, now in your immediate future, we do have the seven of swords, more Aquarius energy. Now this, it, it's deception. I know it's a little concerning, but I don't know why you would get there because your life looks amazing. So let's see. Could be some kind of self-deception, but whatever. Let's see. What is the seven of swords for Libra in the immediate future? So I have to say to you guys, with this being in the future, I don't even like reading for the future, honestly, because I don't want anybody to ever think that their future is like predetermined. Um, you can change this in the next five minutes. This is just the way it's going if nothing should change, okay? All right. What is the Seven of Swords for Libra in the immediate future? What is the Seven of Swords for Libra in the immediate future? The Ace of Wands reversed. Hmm. Something having to do with motivation, passion, attraction, sex. All right, let's get another one here. Clarify this Ace of Wands reversed. The Page of Pentacles reversed. Um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. So with the Page of Pentacles reversed, somebody could be lying about wanting a commitment. Um, this is like very non-committal, very sexual energy. It can also be like the, it's either like somebody who's really promiscuous and they only want sex and no commitment here, or they there's like a lack of attraction. Do you know what I mean? Like no passion, no drive. Let's get another one here. The Hierophant, Taurus energy. Um, this is going to sound really weird, but somebody could have some issues with sexuality due to their upbringing and their religion. Maybe somebody doesn't want to have sex until they commit and there's not enough commitment for them. Um... I don't think that it's somebody having sex outside of a commitment. I really don't. I think that there just might be some sexual issues that somebody's hiding with this deception energy and it has to do with their their religious upbringing, their cultural beliefs, whatever. This is like, this just tur turned like really deep, you guys. <laughs> um, either way, just if you're having those issues, just talk about them with someone. This can also indicate counseling. It can also mean that somebody needs to seek some kind of counseling here. And I would say that it either has to do with something sexual. Maybe somebody's lying about something sexual that happened to them and it's kind of holding them back from committing fully. Um, or somebody's having like some real issues with you know, motivation, energy, like maybe there's like some kind of depression or something that's causing an issue there that somebody's lying about and they need to seek some counseling for. Gosh, this just took such a deep turn. Libra, I kind of, I try to keep these kind of on the surface because I don't know how much you guys want me to say, but wow, I, sorry, sorry if that bothers anyone, but it is what it is. Okay, your potential obstacles, Scorpio, the seven of cups here confused energy it can be a little bit of living in a fantasy world here being a little bit delusional um so if we take this with what could potentially happen in the future and this is kind of fantasizing somebody might have some kind of like sexual fantasies that they don't want to open up about that they're lying about hiding 
because of some kind of cultural beliefs, religious beliefs, or maybe because they don't think that you would accept it. All right, what is the Seven of Cups? The full reversed Aries energy. Somebody might be being a little reckless here, a little reckless, a little confused, a little reckless, um, or, you know, unable to actually fully take the leap with someone else else because of some kind of confusion, lack of clarity. Okay. Did I say Aries energy already? Either way, if I didn't, it's Aries energy. Um, your advice is judgment here, right? Judgment is you need to reevaluate a situation that you thought was done, thought was over, thought you'd never have to look at it again. Um, but this is the energy of having to take a deeper look at something here for you. It's something coming up from the past that you thought was done. It could be somebody coming back from your past, but I don't see any, any other energy of that here. I think more so it could be this issue here maybe some past sexual issue, maybe some past, maybe some kind of blockages to sexuality or something. Something here from the past needs reevaluated. All right. This really, really just went somewhere else, Libra. <laughs> I don't think it's anything like too concerning though. I just think that like, as with all past trauma, past issues, they're going to come out eventually when we're in relationships. That's just the way that, that it works. You know, things that we don't resolve, things that we don't heal, they show up in our, in our love connections. So look at that, the sun, you've got the sun here twice. This is amazing. Amazing. So if you are a Libra that is hoping for reconciliation with someone, definitely the energy of that here. Um, either way though, Taking a deeper look at something here is going to bring you the happiness that you're looking for. It's going to bring you the clarity that you're looking for, all right? This is such a freaking spiritual reading, and it's so, like, it just feels so much like it's it's about your your healing, your spiritual, your spiritual growth. Like, the universe is, like, on point for you right now. If things are coming up for you that are difficult... Um, know that they're just coming up to be resolved so that you can move into this like absolutely wonderful happy place okay all right let's get your yes or no Libra yes or no from my Libra friends yes or no yes or no from my Libra friends here we go Are you guys ready Take a deep breath, focus on your question. Okay, Libra, that is a no with the five of, of pentacles and you might also need to leave something behind, okay? All right, I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. You guys take care. I will talk to you in another day or two.